Polo cross is played with a racket, better known as a stick. These are made of cane and are flexible. At the end is a, a net which can vary slightly in depth. We also use a ball which is soft and spongy. Good one, well done. To start off with, I'd like to show you how to use your racket correctly. To hang on to the racket, you place it in your hand like so. Good. Good. Back it's up. Good. Now we're talking. When you first start to learn to play polo cross, the best thing to do is get a racket, a ball, and practice on foot. By doing this, you become very confident and comfortable with the racket. So when you start riding and using your racket on horse, you carry on straight into some basic skills and then onto the game. It all falls into place and is much easier to do. Present your racket. Now we'll go on to our pickups. There are four pickups. First pickup being forwards and on your stick side, on your natural side. First pickup, you should place your body in line or slightly in front of the ball. Place your racket very closely behind the ball, tilt it forward, and you can see the angle there, and push through the ball and up, like so. You can walk to the ball. As you walk to the ball, you should place your racket out in front of you. Leave it there while your body passes the ball and pick it up, like so. The next pickup I'll demonstrate is the backwards pickup. This is done by placing your racket over the ball. Note the ball is slightly in front of the body. You then drag the ball back and turn and bring it up. Then you'll step to the other side of the ball. This will put the ball on the off side of the horse or on your non-stick side. Again, there are forwards and backwards pickups. So the forwards pick up, okay. Again, place your racket directly behind the ball. Stand in line or slightly in front of the ball and through the ball and up. At a walk, you again walk to the ball, place your racket out in front, wait for your body to catch up, and then pick it up. <music> Lastly, the, on the off side, we'll pick it up backwards. This is done by placing the racket over the ball, and bringing it back and around like that. When you're picking the ball up backwards on your non-stick side, you must keep your palm down and your elbow into your body. Whenever I pick up the ball, whether it be backwards or forwards, on either side, the palm of my hand is always facing the ball. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate catching. 20% of the time, catches are caught simply like this. Okay, are you ready? The other 80% of the time, the ball is actually caught in a downward motion. Now, the good way to get the understanding of what you must do is to take the ball from my hand with your racket. That's it. You should push down to make good contact with the back of the net and turn. Whenever catching the ball, 
you should always present it in a way that the person passing it to you can catch or can throw. Throwing. Throwing is a little bit more difficult to learn. Start with your racket pointing in the direction that you would like the ball to go. Bring your racket back and push forward in a smooth motion. Notice how my racket has finished. A common mistake when throwing is to use your wrist at the end of your throw and finish like this. The result is the ball will go in an upwards direction or not leave your racket. Okay, what we're going to do now is a pop pass. This is a throw with a good loop in it. This throw is done more in front of your leg rather than a big backswing. So your throw will come to your leg and then up. Good. Good. The next throw is called the overarm. This is where we throw across our body or throw from above our heads. When throwing across our body, you take a spear-like action. So you push your racket forward and then follow through like so. As you, as you become more competent at this, it becomes more fluent. Notice when the ball leaves my racket. It is at the top of my throat. Another important part of your racket work is the cradle. This is done to balance the ball in your racket. Notice how the ball stays in the back of the racket. Cradling is used in a lot of different aspects in the game and your stick work to balance the ball in your net. When throwing, in preparation to throw, you could cradle before doing so. Also, when being tackled on the pitch, that is, an opposing stick hitting your racket in an upwards direction, you can also cradle. Cradling is used in a lot of different aspects in the game and your stick work. For instance, picking the ball up. You cradle at the end of your pickup to balance the ball in your net. When being tackled by an opposition player, another evasive move you could make is to do this. You put your on foot stick work and horse work together to have fun on your horse. Thank you.